Why does my gray game look so grainy on common test? Can somebody explain? Like, everything looks so grainy. You lowered anti lesson? Is that why? What do you even achieve from here though? From Lord? Like what do you even... Is that a hold on at least? That is right? New still mid position? I just don't feel like it changes anything like it will be annoying when there's some hold on thing but okay so let's let's think about it yeah let's think about it so if somebody pushes up to this which they can still do first of all i think you can get punished on the crossing Like, I think you can still get punished on the crossing, but if somebody pushes up to this, that only leaves... Um, then this building is already useless. Like, this building is already useless. That leaves the building where display resolutions is. I mean, it depends, man. If there's a TD covering from the back, if there's something covering from the back, then you can play at that building. Like, you will be able to play at that building. You won't able be able to do shit from it, though, because they're just gonna sit behind their building and behind the bush and they'll hold on there. So, like, what does this really add gameplay-wise? Because, like, from here, you can't even, like, really do too much because you have to, like, be really, 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 really super deep. Which means you get shot from the top, which means you get shot from the right. So, what does that leave? This is also no man's land. Like, crossing this is no man's land, you know? Like, imagine you have to cross this. Like, imagine you have to cross this. You're open to so many different things. Shadow Freak, thank you very much for the brand new Prime. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the squad, man. Thank you very, very much, dude. Welcome. Free enjoy your time here. But like, I don't think this allows for anything except for be annoying and sit behind the building. And first, and, st and still you're gonna get punished crossing to the buildings, cause like, I mean smart people, sick jump? Smart people are just gonna go here in the beginning to punish your crossing, no? Like if I'm playing from south, I'm just gonna go here and punish you trying to cross. If you go through the back, then you take much longer to do it, and you still have to go through the open. Like it's like a free shot of damage. It makes a difference for comp, or for sure, actually. Like, for sure, for sure, it makes a big difference for comp. Uh, teams will drive, uh, for example, two seven nines up to those buildings, because it will be super hard to push them. Yeah, this is also in 7v7. This is for every mode. So, like, for, like, what 7, this will change a lot. But, like, teams will definitely drive up with, like, two seven nines maybe through here, to establish positions at the buildings, to hold, uh, control, it still doesn't fix the forest, so but Yeah, but the question is how many heavies, like, what tanks can really take these positions? Really fast heavies? Yes. Slow heavies are gonna get punished crossing, or should get punished crossing. And then what do you do from here? You just sit, you peek out, you get blasted by the bush. Right? You, you peek, you get blasted by the bush. You peek this, you get blasted from that bush. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you can go sit there. I don't know what you're gonna be able to do from it, though. I mean, you could potentially take this here. You take this here, you could be annoying to the guys on the top, for sure. But those guys can always sit safe and peek behind the bush still. So, you know what I mean? Like, they can sit, you can sit here. If you make this in, like, a really fast, like, chief, whatever, dude. Anything that's hold on potential, even E5, probably not run. 
If you make this, like, you can counter this. But, like, again, if you peek out of this, you get farmed from the building. So, like, I don't know. Like, you can can you farm in the middle? And also, if you take this, if you take this and they take that position there, like, you're immediately forced down. Like, you'll always be forced down. Yeah? You, like, you're 100% gonna be forced down. So... I don't know if it adds that much. Also, this is what I don't like, by the way. Okay, so for example, this position is better than the other position. Because you counter more of the corner, like you have better shots. They're only safe if they play like really close to the corner. Well, from the other position, right, if you look from this position here, They can sit safe inside of this hold on and on the corner. Like they're safe inside of this and they can peek you from there. But from the other position, you're able to shoot more because the hold on is worse. At least it looks that way. Yeah, the hold on is worse from that side. It just is worse. I don't know, it's just worse. Like you can still hide behind it, but it's still worse. No matter what. The only thing here is you can get fired by the church though. Yeah, the church kind of farm you. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like what's gonna happen often is that somebody in a fast tank. Yeah, I see Kamikaze. What you're gonna do? But uh, where is the middle of the map? E between E and F N is the middle of the map, right? I feel like people are just gonna take this. To punish low heavies. Like this doesn't stay I don't feel like this I don't feel like this changes anything for slow heavies, man. Like what does this change for slow heavies? This is like an area for fast tanks. And fast tanks usually don't have the armor. I don't know. I don't feel like this changes anything for slow heavies. Nord doesn't have to go here. Like Nord does not have to go there whatsoever because if anything Nord can hold one too easier now than before because like the TD position is better that like, the TD position is better this is like unpushable terrain now by the way they moved the trees here as well by the way like there's this is there's this like they did some shit with this because this is this is then you Bro, this is even worse for South, by the way. I'm gonna tell you now, this is worse for South still. I don't know why. Because before, if you pushed into this dip here, you could get shot. Now, if you push this dip here, you completely crossfire this. And guess what, dude? This little hill is blocking most of the shots, if not all the shots. No, it's blocking all the shots, dude. It's literally blocking every single shot. Like, it's like. Like for clan wars and stuff and advances, this will be a very big position because you're completely, f fully able to counter the. Uh and you can still spot Suki. I mean, the trees in the way though. How would you spot from here? No. How would you spot? You would pick in and out of the tree, I guess. Although that's not really that possible. I mean, the K line spot will be my trader. Use this trees in the way. And you're like more exposed to get a kill and spot. Although, can you just sit here still with enough view range? No, you can just sit here with enough view range. Nothing changed. No, nothing changed. You can just sit here with enough view range. You're still gonna spot the rotation. No, nothing changed. In that regard. And it's even safer to go back safe. They changed some sh uh, something else here as well. So, what did they change again? Like, there's less trees there, but I, it doesn't make a difference does it make a difference in reality there's still the rock where you can farm from like all you have to do is didn't change like they even moved l there's less trees now but you can always still do this where you knock over the tree and sit with the rock you outspot people coming and you can find them anyways not so much about your minotaur video thank you glad you liked it and you can still sit in the corner and it doesn't change man if a hold on tank goes in the corner if a hold-on tank goes in the corner, he's... Is he hold-on still? 
He should be. Uh, yeah, he is still hold down. He plays it well. And he should be unspotted if he has time to knock over the trees. Plus, you can always knock over these trees as well, by the way. You don't necessarily have to knock over those. Even spot through city from a new hill in first. Uh, I think if you knock the tree, you might, but that will be easy better. You can always knock these trees better as well. Like, this doesn't take that li long to do, to knock over this tree, and then the big pine tree towards here. So, you knock over those two, but it takes three trees. It's not that high. And you knock over this one, congratulations, you have now created yourself a camo spot in the corner. You have to barely knock over trees. Does that really change anything? I don't think so. Like, th there's less trees in cover here. But, you can still play here. It hasn't really changed for that for that matter. Like this changed nothing for this corner. Like you can still just play it. Notes peaking this not possible because you get shot on the side third, which means that you can only still peak this here. I mean the hold on is slightly better though. The issue is still that if you peak this, like if you actually want to shoot the people coming close to you, you have to over peak, which exposes you into the hill here into the buildings here, into everything that's behind. And you can't spot them because they're in the trees. So like, can you really play this? No. You can't really play this. This is still completely fine for Nord. This is even better for Nord because before, uh, before you couldn't really push this. Like you couldn't really push this before, but now you can though. I mean like for advances as well. Usually when you push up here, you just get farmed, right? Because the hill was less steep. But now, this is better for North though, again, still. Because the hold on should just work better for North. Every time he over peaks you, he peaks you from the top, you get shot from the forest. He peaks you on the front and he over peaks by too far. Like if you hold on yourself and you just play here, and he over peaks towards there, he gets shot by the hill behind as well, by the triangles. So, overall, does this change anything? No. I don't see what it changes at all. Maybe it will pull a few people from north into 1-2 But I don't think it will last long Because if the... Like currently most of south goes 1-2 And a lot of times So... You know, you can still get overrun at the buildings uh, I don't think this really tackles the f issue where This can drive like this And this side can not drive like this Because you get fined From here You know? So, and what usually happens is uh, enemy team is holding on 1-2, your team splits a little bit, your forest gets overrun, your team can't really push 1-2, which will be harder now still, because of the terrain you have to drive in and the better positions they have, and they can farm you along the way. They hold 1-2 or do a lot of damage, enemy team wins south, and enemy team surrounds you. I don't think this really tackles anything on this map that is like color. True, 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 true. I mean, they changed this, so there's a low ground now. VIP, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for the four. Thank you, Mr. VIP. So like when you're running away, you dip below the TDs. Does that fix the fact that the light tank from that side where MV is now can just run up and do a proxy run on you unspotted? Of course not. Which also means that you can still die in three and a half seconds. Like it doesn't it doesn't change that. You know, a light can just if you're doing this spot and he surprises you that he drives up on you and proxy spots you and then you're here. And then you have like what? You still have to drive away, so... You know. So there is that. Um, so there was... The, 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 what did they change here? There are some trees up here, no? This doesn't change though, you can still sit up here. This tree still adds camo. Like, the, that tree still adds camo. 
so I don't know. There was more trees here, but there was more trees here. Yeah, that's true. There's less. Uh, there's not that many TDs there, anyways. Most of the time. And then, of course, the biggest change is uh, the fact you can drive through this now. Right, so you can drive through this, which is completely free from the Sniper Hill, so hopefully less people will go there. Um, so you can sit here, hold down. If you don't have enough teammates, you can just sit here and wait and watch, and they peek. However, you still have the problem though of when you push up to this. If you push up to this, here, you can still get farmed by the position there when they knock over the tree. And of course, not forgetting where those guys are, they can still farm you. It only takes one player with brain cell strand to farm you, pushing up on this. Like, it takes one player to have a clue and sit there and hold on and farm you. It is better for holding though, like it's definitely an improvement. Like it's definitely an improvement that you can just sit here and be safest. If they peek from that, they get blasted by the TDs from behind. So you can sit here, hold on and watch them pushing up. Which is a you know, pretty good change for North in that regard. Because it allows you to uh, control this side better. Which also means that this play here... Uh, yeah, this play on the outside here is dead. Like play, like pushing up on the river and trying to go behind this hold down, it's a dead play now. You can't do that. Like you cannot do that anymore. So it is an improvement overall. Like in that regard, it is an improvement. So this side should normally hold longer now. Like, this side should hold longer from the north. Uh, however, pushing it is always a coin flip on how many times the enemy team has. But it is an improvement. We're safe on live. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, a big improvement. And you know, pushing from, north, uh, from south is still gonna be hard because you have to push into the dip here. It could be a guy hold on there, it could be TDs there, it could be someone in the bush there. It will make this fight last longer. Oh, did they, is this rock new? I don't remember if this rock is new. Is this rock new? Yeah, that's just a... I don't know, I, I can already see the first 705A go here and just sit at this rock and be annoying. Is this rock new? No, right? It's definitely gonna be harder for light tanks though. Which is good because south light tanks have a very easy time. So yeah, this rock is also kind of gonna be... It should stalemate this fight. Normally this fight should be more of a stalemate. Because neither side can really push it or like kill the other. Here you can get countered by this though, which then again should get countered by that. So this you can only play if you have somebody on the right. This is like even more of a defensive position in case you're alone. It's basically holdowns, holdowns in a safer crossing to slow down or stalemate the fight so neither side can really push it. Uh, that's the goal from this. Neither side should be able to push it. They can fight, but they can't push it. This area will be a stalemate and people should normally be forced into 1-2 line. Like a lot of tanks should be forced to into 1-2 line and there should be less people sniping from here. Which often you loses you 1-2 line, you lose this, they're sitting here, they take this, they spot you, you die, and then they overrun this side and you have 10 tanks sitting here. Should force people towards 1-2 line. That's the question if it will force people to 1-2 line. But the change is good, I guess. I mean, you know, there's a lot of holdowns. There's a lot of holdowns, which is, you know, not for every tank, it's like, like, this side is like heavies anyways, heavies with a turret or holdown potential, you shouldn't be able to push it anymore, effectively, unless the enemy team trades completely garbage, it will just be like a peak trade farm. Alright, next!
Next. Um, we've seen this on Runeberg, <laughs> for example. You, know? you add enough holdouts, it becomes not pushable. Yeah. Then he creates stalemates. Win entrance, then you can get spotted on the other side. I already said this. The thing I don't like about this is that uh, you still can get punished driving driving across you can still get punished because you know this side has to cross the gap it's not that long though monster it's like really two max three seconds like and to be safe if you go far bro i mean it's a really big hold on though like it's a really big hold on this will be a bitch to push monster by the way in competitive if the enemy team has five tanks here and you're pushing it about six you're losing you know, in case they're overrunning lower side. If you have four here and you have six, it will be a bitch again to overrun it. Because you can't push it from two sides anymore. Notes. Your t turret is not safe here from 1-2, by the way. I just want to point that out. If they push up on 1-2, they can get shots on you. Yeah. It's not the easiest shots, but, you know. Also, in the Wargaming video, they said that you can play this. You can never play this. You get countered by this, you get countered by that. Side scraping on this corner is a waste of time. That doesn't add anything, except for you get shot from the lower side. So even though in their video they said you can side scrape there, you cannot side scrape there. It takes one guy on one two, on three line, or behind the window, whatever, to find you. You are able to shut down the corner. From both sides though. Coppola snipes? I mean, yeah, probably MV, but, you know, Coppola snipes. Coppola snipes, like... Most mediums will struggle here. Like, most mediums. This is only for, like, if heavies get on the hill, or Udes's or SDB, you know? Again, aim that creating a hold down to where if the enemy team has an overmatch, only a slight overmatch, they can't just push you and kill you, which they can do from there now. Is it better for north side for the hill? Yes, it will be better in some regard if you have gun depression, because you won't just die. What's up, Um So, I mean, yeah, for comp, this will make a difference the way the hill is played. Um, this will make a difference for competitive in the way the hill is played. What are you guys doing? Um, did this, this, this shot is the same, right? Or did this become better? Is this shot the same or did it become better? Because it looks like it might be better than before to shoot down. If you were to take the hill. The thing is as well that you know, for competitive quick hill pushes can get punished really hard because they, if the less they push through, monster, like unless you push through, you can get really farmed when you sit here. If you sit here, because you can get shot from lower, you can get shot from there, you can get shot from there, you can get shot from everywhere. Okay, let's go next. It's an improvement for Nords. Again, aim to make a. Again, aim to make a stalemate on the hill. I mean, this will make it better for North reaction on the hill to hold a hill. And you cannot get pushed from two sides anymore like before. Yeah, no, there's no initial shots on the crossing if you do it well. Maybe there's a small gap where you can shoot the crossing. But from North, you are able to cross without trouble, completely unscathed. From south, you are able to cross fully unscathed. I mean, unless you're like a really slow tank, like a mouse, you know, driving down. But for most tanks, you'll be able to cross this unscathed, unfarmed, and for free. And be able to reach the heavy side without getting punished. So this is a good change, no matter what. Like, this is a positive change. Like, this is a very positive change for heavy tanks on this map. I mean, for general play as well, actually. This is a very good change. 
I don't think there's much to say about it except that it's a good change. It even creates like it even creates like positions that you can hold if your team is not playing that side. Sort of absolute. Which is a massive improvement than having one corner to play on. It also uh, 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 I don't know why you can drive up there though and not from the other side, but whatever. Like, that's interesting. It also, the second thing, what this does, John, and praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. When you pick this corner, there's still some TD positions that fuck you, but the rock is useless. The rock is useless except for the counter in the middle. The rock is now useless. Like, you can actually get pretty close to the triangles, to the point where you can spot them. And actually be able to push through the side and push up into their base. Which is very good. So, I don't know, overall this is just a good improvement to this map. Uh, where heavy players will find it a lot easier to play. And they'll be forced into awkward positions or farmed on the crossing. Um, so overall, changes on this map. Very good. Very good. And you even have positions, like I said, you even have positions to hold behind if uh, your team doesn't have many people going here. Like you can play here, if they push up on you, like it will still be a bitch to push this though. Because you can still sit the triangles there. So it will be harder for bottom left base to push top right, heavy scamping behind this. Especially here because of the TD positions behind. Where the rock is useless from the other side, the TD positions that a 9 minor 3 are still useful. From, uh, from from this side. Like the TDs can still sit there and farm you. You can still push up to the rock though, but they can still farm you. They can't push, they can farm you pushing up like this, so like, in, like you push up like this, you're fine. The issue arrives that when you come here, you cannot drive this way, because you have positions there, you have positions there that counter you, and you can also not drive, uh, you can also not drive this side if they have a TD in the bushes because when you reach this point here you get farmed and you can't push the guy behind there. So that I, that is something that I don't like 100% because there's also the, the bush, you know, the tree in the bush. Which still kind of counters this as well. So that I don't really like too much because like it seems way easier to push like this than it is to push like this. Like you can get bogged down way harder. Alright, next. You know what's the funny part, by the way, about map changes like this? First, what they do they do? They facilitate triangle players like TDs to have a position to shoot from. Then what did they do three years later? They remove those... Uh, they remove those... Um, they remove those uh, positions that TDs can play from. Why even build them in the first place then? So yeah, the biggest change here is this. You can no longer shoot into the city. Very good. Very, very good. It makes that you can play behind the hold down and don't just like get clapped by an AV for 2k that's sitting there, you know? So that's very good. Um, you know what? This corner here is actually good as well. And the reason why, why this corner is good because I think you can side scrape off of it. You can side scrape off of it and not get fucked by the left because the holdon is here. I was a bit worried about that. Like I was a bit worried about how the uh, how it's gonna look side scrape on the screener. But it looks fine. So you have a side scrape position here. Of course it's not fully hold down. You have to be here to be hold down, which always still works unless they take this, but at least you still have a position that you can fall back to, kinda. If your team uh, like you can kinda play here if your team is losing the field. You still get fucked from there though, but it is an improvement. Like, it is, an, it is an improvement, nonetheless. With the building being blocked, it also makes it way more viable again to push up, by the way. But of course, you have to be careful now from that corner, because now somebody that sidescapes there actually doesn't make it more viable to push up. It makes it less viable to push up. Because if somebody sidescapes on this corner, they fuck you. You're forced backwards into the position here, and you die. Again, what is supposed to do this? Create stalemates. I don't think they like when somebody can push across towards there and farm. 
So if you just... Is this the same thing from here? Actually, no. No, I'm not... No. No, that's wrong, actually. That's wrong. You can The push-up is more viable because you can't play this. You can't play this to counter this. And you can no longer play this. You can no longer play this to counter them either. You can actually push up to the holdown now. Okay, so I was, like, I was wrong. You can actually push up to the holdown and be fine. And it also makes it, I think... Yeah, this building also has a big change, by the way. Is the fact that nobody can sit like on the red line there and shoot you behind this holdown. So you can actually push up from both sides to the holdown more effectively. Without getting farmed by... RD still farms you. But at least you won't have to deal with a random TD sitting there anymore and shooting you. So, positive change? Yes. That's yeah, probably a positive change. Now, if they would remove some bushes from the bush line, so you can't go from one side to the other without being spotted, they would be doing a very good job. Yeah, very good change. Very good change. You can still push up to the hold down. You can't get farmed by this position anymore. So it's like pushing the hold down is still high risk, high reward. But in return, but in return, there's still there's still something to talk about though. Pushing up to the hold down reaction. Like if you do push up to the hold down and the enemy team is here, right? And the enemy team is here, they can over peek you. Like they can peek you more effectively without getting farmed by the TDs. Like they can peek they can peek this more effectively and shoot you and not get farmed. So like you can push up to the hold down, but at the same time, they're able to peek you without getting farmed by, you know, the back, you see? I, I can peek this now and shoot Betsy. I don't have to be worried about a uh, TD shooting me from the back. So, yeah, it's a good change. It is a good change. So overall, they're doing a good job, except for Moro, which I don't think really tackles the issues. Alright, go next. What is left? I mean, there's only one change on this. Did it change that? I don't remember the cap being that obvious. Did they change the cap icon? Is that this is basically the only change, by the way? Isn't this the only change? The shot for the TDs becomes much smaller. So, the shot for the TDs here becomes much, much smaller. Yeah, it becomes much, much smaller. So they can still get a shot if they're committed front. So if you're a slow heavy, you should still go through the back. If you're fast, right? Is map favoring heavy tanks? Yes, of course they are. Uh, if you're a slow heavy, you should still go through the back. Because you can still get shot if a TD has this position here. But if you're fast heavy... You don't really have to worry about getting tapped by an FV on this crossing anymore. Bro. They also changed this building. Which building here? Yeah, did they make it larger or smaller? I don't remember. But it's making it smaller, really, do Not much. It doesn't really change anything. This doesn't really change anything. In general. They remove the corner, I mean... Eh. No, you can't cross this without TDs finding you, so... You can't side scrape anymore. Oh, this side scrape here? Yeah, but this side scrape here usually goes farmed by the TDs anyway, so you're pushed to be forced to push forward. Instead of that side scrape, you just have this side scrape now, MV. Like, you just have this side scrape instead. It doesn't really change much. Anyways, next! Mm, the map changes overall are good. But it is a good map for heavies. Berlin is a good map only for heavies, basically. Nice. 
But yeah, this is a massive improvement, by the way. I mean, massive. It's a massive improvement to the point where if you're a heavy but no gun depression, you can actually consider crossing. Because before, before the position was in a way that if you played it, this would happen to your armor. Where it becomes flat and you get panned everywhere. At least now, and you don't even need gun depression, is that you can actually counter the corner and play against it. And if there's nobody there, do the play, which is crossover like this, which is always risky, to counter that, that shit over there. But that's an improvement that is nice. Because the, the rock was only playable from one side. Now it's playable from both sides. Slow heavies again can't go here. This is only for mediums with a turret or tanks with armor that can actually play behind it and counter the corner. So, of course you have to be careful from this. But the thing is as well, if more people go to A1, the, if more people play A1, you gotta, you gotta think about it, right? If more people play A1 and actually hold it, and you play that position there, you're actually able to counter this here. Which should make steam rolls, if it's even, less likely, because you can actually counter their heavies trying to take the position there to farm, you know? Um, because you can just do that from the corner, which hopefully slows down the fight on this side. Again, if you're outnumbered by five tanks, you're probably not going to be holding shit, and you're just going to die. So, but it's a good change. It's a more than fine change, and you don't even need gun depression to play it, which is also nice. All right, next. Yeah, overall positive changes. I mean, of course, all of these changes facilitate heavies. Fast heavies with a turret, cooldown potential, you know. I mean, mediums for, like mediums the same, but those are like half heavy, so. Ah, can a heavy go where war is? I actually see how much difference it makes. So, that window doesn't exist anymore over there. Because it used to be, you used to peek here and get shots from that window. This area is now larger, which is nice if you're playing your fast heavy. Because you're getting, you have more time to aim your shot, no, no joke, like you actually have more time to aim your shot. Uh, can you peek, can you go backwards and peek your in? Huh? I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot their hull anymore when they peek up. Because like you used to be able to shoot their hull when they peeked, like, like the way sp Spinny is peeking. You could shoot their hull from both sides, but it doesn't look like I can shoot his hull whatsoever. Which makes the window position more playable from that side. It's already playable from this side anyways. No, I can't shoot his hull. If it peaks properly, I'm not shooting his hull. So that's a good change for the window there. Because that window is, a, was, is or was a bitch to play. You can also hide your cupola with this. Which is the same, because you can hide your cupola with this as well. So, no more sneaky hull pens. Except for when he does that, if he rocks board back. That's player issue though, like that's player fault. If you rock backwards and forwards, then yeah, I'm gonna pen your hole. If you drive up slowly, it doesn't look like I'm gonna pen your hole. I can shoot the ram. Yeah, let's see, so then... That's a good change by the way, that that window is gone. That's a very good change that that little window is gone to shoot the ramp, which means you can actually play this and counter the position there against uh, the window. It's good that that little window is gone, for that matter. Because they're a bit too, bit too cheeky of an angle, you know? A bit too cheeky. Um, then again, pushing up here is now harder than before because somebody can sit behind that hold down. Because before, actually, it depends. It depends if they have the brain because there was a window there. There was a window there that could shoot this, which is now gone. There's a hold down instead. But that hold down can get farmed from the bottom corner though. Um, the only shitty thing is that this side still is not able to shoot at the window there. Like you can't pick this. So this side still this side still has advantage to cover the window. Which is a bit annoying, but you know. And then you have a massive hold on position up there to counter the corner. Which is an improvement from what it was before. Feel like you have a rubble pile there now that you can play behind. So okay. And on top of that, they added the position there on a seven, which is another hold on position to slide and slow down the team that is able to push the city. So you, this this position at a seven is added, 
in um, in hopes or in dreams that this A7 will counter the peak on the corner, like you can drive there with the MX, you see, is that this position will counter um, that this position will counter both A line, will counter both the A line play, and will at the same time also counter the play on the outside here to shut down this play and also to punish people trying to peek out from there and push through so th the goal is here to counter the corner there counter the corner there and counter the corner there is this good yeah probably it's good because you know you know how city fights work in this uh, map you know the team that starts steamrolling the city usually just kills the city and wins so these positions might slow it down and more stalemate like stalemates mean longer games shot no matter what way you look at it you still have the issue though that however that you can have 10 tanks holding the city if you lose the k-line you still get surrounded and die that will not change which is a very decently common thing on berlin as well to lose k-line and then to lose the the rest of the map in result I think I'm pretty sure the climb is gone. A fast, an EBR could probably still do it. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, to 60, I doubt it though. Maybe. No, nah, I'm not making that. Oh my god, the CS made it. Very cool. The RHM made it. I don't think it was the 60 makes it though. No, no, no. So this is now much wider than it was before. White people happy. It's much wider than it was before. Oh my god, a TVP made it. Can I make this in the 260? Yo, I can still make this. They didn't remove it. Nobody tell them. Nobody tell them, dudes. Doesn't look that hard. I mean, Wesley made it in his AMX, so it doesn't look that hard still. Nice, Spinny. Nice for pick up, Rain. Yeah, it doesn't look that hard at all. Is that useful though? Yeah, it is, because from there you can take to the outside and take here. That's one of the things the climb allowed you to do, is go through the outside immediately without having to go all the way around and take the position here, straight. Because the other, it's pretty easy for the other side. I'll try it without speed. See if we can give it a config now. Yeah, you don't need speed for it, dude. Doesn't seem like you need speed for it. This is useful because, like I said, you can go around, you can go here immediately and count at the middle, so... Cool. Still there. They'll probably block it off at some point, though. Then in return, this is much, much wider. So it's much more white people comfy to play this here and counter this. Because you couldn't really do this before, right? You couldn't really sit here, hold on and counter this, right? I don't really play up middle that often. So like, I'm pretty sure you couldn't really do this. Where you counter, where you can counter the middle. So that's new. Listen, Spiny. I can teach you, but it's going to cost you. So this is new in that regard. Um, then this rock is new, which you can also hide behind and counter the middle again. Aim at making the middle more even, more into a stalemate where people are just trading off against each other without really being able to pen one another. Um, again, it's just wider, bigger hold down. Um, not a bad change per se, because driving up in the middle from this side can be a bitch. Dude, why do you turn so fast, bro? Why is he so fast? Kill him! He's cheating. Just kill him, dude. He's obviously cheating. Kill him. He's from NA, so he's a certified cheater. No, this is still here. This didn't change anything on this part. It's only the middle entrance. See? This didn't change. It didn't change. Good change, I guess. 
will make it easier. You won't get stuck behind somebody driving into the middle. You will be faster into the middle because the slope is not as harsh. Um, you can actually sit hold down, even with things that don't have a gun depression, to counter the middle, which is kind of even from both sides now. That's fine. They just can't seem to get it right, can they? <laughs> They've moved them too far back now. They're too far back now. Defense wins A3. Defense wins K4. The game is over. They've 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 actually moved them too far back now. I'm not joking. They're actually too far back now. Mm. Oh yeah, the Muro and Counter Spawn. There's not much to talk about, but it's solid as well. I mean, it's probably a bit too much to the side, but at least it does. It means you can't get count and encounter with them just sitting behind the corners. So. Huh? I mean... You can't really peek from here though. Effectively. Still. Like this fight is kind of shit still. I still think North has advantage here though. I don't think this changes too much for the volley, actually. Because, like, can you guys move? Because of this still being a thing, by the way. Like, this is still a thing from Norwich. Where you can shoot the guy or, like, counter the guy behind the rock. If you have enough gun depression. Well, from Norwich, eh, from, from South, you can't do that because you get fucked by A1. And you get fucked by C2. So like you still have this position here. Right? This position here to counter this. But you also have where those guys are to counter the guy playing behind here. Right? Which means you can only play this here. Which is just like, you know, by a stalemate. At least you have the position here now. That's it. That's the only thing you have from south is this position here. Which you can't really peek into anything either. Um, South is still fucked for Valley. North has massive advantage. North probably even has more advantage now on a Valley fight than it did before. By the way. Like, I'm on North has even more advantage now. If you actually decide to push up, North is gonna f destroy you. Like, they're actually gonna completely destroy you. Because they're able to actually play the position where you're not. Is the north part of J1 new? No, that's always been there. Or been there for a long time. From what I remember. I don't think that's new. Uh, yes. But what do you counter from here? Is the question. First of all, MV crossing this? Big risk. Okay, big risk. Second of all... No, it doesn't work, MV. This, the rock where daddy is just kills you. No. The rock where daddy is just will just farm you from below it. They will just kill you. Plus, there's this position here. So if you turn your turret too much... No. No, it's not equal to... It's definitely not equal to, like, Valerio, Valerio coming up here in his AMX heavy. And just shutting down this corner fully, by the way. Like, farming that guy behind the rock. Fireman, that guy can even make some overpeaks onto this. It's m even more north favored than it was before. The only decent spot is that for south, like that little copy there. That's it. That's actually it. Everything else, nope. So this change is kind of bad. Like this change is kind of bad, to be honest.